mimosas vegan? Because honestly, this is kind of like French toast. So that and a mimosa is probably the closest thing to brunch we're going to get for a while. Just throwing it out there. Just a little option if you want to do like a virtual vegan brunch. This is a good idea. So following along with the video, cutting up some banana, you want to spread it across the bread as if this was uh, peanut butter or jelly. On top of the banana spread, you want to add some cinnamon. Personally, I like a lot of cinnamon, so you can use however much or however little you please. Place the bread facing down. Next, you want to spray again the top portion of the bread and add some more cinnamon. So I was going to make carrot bacon, but I didn't have one of the ingredients. So I just opted for a smoothie on the side. In my smoothie, I have the rest of the banana. Berry medley. Uh, I purchased this from Walmart. It has raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Also, I'm going to add some almond milk. This is the unsweetened version. And off camera, which you didn't see, I actually used some um, sliced up carrot. So this is meal one, cinnamon, banana, raisin, bread. This is the Ezekiel bread and it literally smells just like cinnamon toast. This is 100% pure maple syrup. This is my first time having Ezekiel bread and it is a little bit tougher than what I expected. I know this is good. Okay, so meal one. I really didn't think I would dislike this. I mean it's literally bread. I love bread. I love cinnamon. So that's why I added a lot to both sides. And literally just warming this up. This is a super quick and easy meal. Definitely will be trying this out again. I wanted to make the infamous carrot bacon but I don't have any liquid smoke and I could have sworn before I went to the store that I had some and I don't so carrot bacon is gonna have to wait till another time but as far as the cinnamon banana raisin bread this is definitely a must try 
Okay, moving on to meal two. We're just gonna have a bowl of guacamole. doesn't take a lot of ingredients and doesn't take a lot of time and I mean and I was actually surprised to see how many chips fall under the vegan category will say I wish I had a picked out riper um, avocados these are pretty like fresh off the tree so um, it was definitely a struggle cutting them up it was definitely a struggle mixing them all up but I got it to a good consistency I guess and this will be a dish that I make side dish main course whatever I'm just gonna have a big bowl of it cuz it's kind of late in the day already what is sus gracias that's Jesus thank you mm -hmm. guacamole this is good mm-hmm mm. oh yeah very good Okay, the last and the biggest meal of the day. This is the vegetable pasta. She didn't use um, carrot, but I figured I'd go ahead and use some. I didn't have the trumpet mushroom. I couldn't find them, trumpet, trombone. I just found some regular baby Bella mushrooms, so that's what I'm gonna use. Rotini pasta because they didn't have any bow ties. I mean, literally, you have to pick from whatever is left. I did not use the vegetable oil that I bought because the top looked like it was tampered with, and I didn't notice that at the store because I definitely would have not bought it. So, it's too much stuff going on right now. Therefore, I didn't feel safe using the vegetable pasta. I just used olive oil. What you need, or what I use, zucchini, squash, red pepper, baby bella mushroom, and what is that, carrot. Cooked it for about five minutes. I only used a little bit of broccoli because the bag of broccoli that I purchased, it wasn't smelling too right. So, and I started to look at it and I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna use this. So I didn't use too much broccoli and it's literally my favorite vegetable. So I was kind of upset, but it still turned out really, really good. Okay, so one, this is not vegan butter. This is regular butter. Sorry, couldn't get my hands on the vegan butter, so I had to use regular. Um, I didn't use a whole stick like she did. I used half a stick. Two, the yogurt that she used, 
this is the same brand that she had but mine's is a mix of cashew and something else if you can read the label hers is a little bit different but it's still the same brand and it's still vegan yogurt three couldn't find any parmesan um vegan cheese they were completely sold out like you could see the space was completely empty so i just opted for um mozzarella this is still vegan mozzarella cheese it's just not parmesan like she used So adding the noodles back in, then you're going to add the vegetables back in and mix and stir everything up. I added a little bit more cheese, I added a little bit more yogurt, and just got it to the consistency that I like. Now, as far as the bread, I did not go to Trader Joe's to get that garlic spread. I was done shopping for the day. I was on my second store looking for stuff, and I was pretty much done. So, my version of garlic bread for tonight, sprayed the bread with, again, I had that avocado spray. I'm going to use a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of um, Himalayan salt, and a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to take that same mozzarella cheese and I'm going to sprinkle it on top. I did not pop this into the broiler like she did. I didn't feel like doing that. I popped it into the microwave. Dinner ready, babe. <laughs> so it's officially around. It's too late to be eating, but it smells like yogurt. Mmm. It's good though. It's creamy. The fact that the vegan cheese, this like Daya Daya cheese, really smells like real dairy cheese is somewhat like comforting, I guess, because I had a feeling it wasn't gonna have any smell or it's just gonna be a a scent I wasn't used to. But it really smells like real cheese. It has the same moisture as real cheese, so. That's kind of cool. Mm. It's probably me. It's probably finding somebody else, but it just needs a little bit more salt. That's not bad. I like it. Mm. Okay, guys, so my full day of vegan eating or trying to eat vegan trying to mimic and recreate i am tap the browns recipes is officially over yeah i 
found this to be interesting. Um, hmm. To not eat meat is one thing, but to not have dairy is another thing. I had gone months without eating meat, but I still had dairy. So to cut off the two, definitely a challenge. Okay. Oh, I really tried to do my best. Okay, I really tried to do my best. But this was fun, y'all. Tag I am Tabitha Brown, so she can see my video. Um, I plan on doing more of these type of videos, like these challenge videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.